wonderful question let's simplify this and say p power q equal to 1 nice question beautiful question thank you if some number par something is 1 let's say 2 power k equal to 1 we have to say k is 0 anything par 0 is 1 other way around 1 par anything is 1 1 par any anything is 1 anything per 0 is 1. So, if p per q is 1, we are solving for p equal to 1, q equal to 0, finding the values and then seeing some nothing funny happens in the other way around. Substituting whatever value of x we get for this to go to 0, plugging it here, seeing if it makes sense, plugging whatever value for x for this to go to 1, plugging it there, seeing it makes sense. And so, so let's solve these two quadratic expressions. We're solving for x square minus 5x plus 5 equal to 1 or x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0, x minus 1 into x minus 4 equal to 0, x is equal to 1 or 4. Or we are solving for x square plus 4x minus 60 equal to 0, x square plus 10x minus 6x six minus 60 equal to 0, x plus 10 into x minus 6 equal to 0, x equal to minus 10 or plus 6. Nice, beautiful. Now we still have to be a little careful and check values. And minus 10 and plus 6, what does this become when x is minus 10 or plus 6? 1 or 4, what does this become when it is 1 or 4? So I'm going to substitute x equal to 1 here x equal to 1, x square plus 4x minus 60, this will become 1 plus 4 minus 60, which is minus 55, 1 power minus 55 is 1, that's all right. x substitute x equal to 4, 4 square is 16, plus 4 into 4 is 16, minus 60, 32 minus 60, which is 28, minus 28, 1 power minus 28, that is 1, 1 by 1 power 28, that one's beautiful x equal to minus 10 or plus 6, if x is minus 10 or plus 6, in this case, this will go to 0, I have to check this. So, minus 10 x square is x square is 100, minus 5 into minus 10 plus 50, plus 5, yeah, 155 power 0 which works or put x equal to 6, 6 square is 36 minus 30 plus 5, 6 plus 5, 11 and power 0, 0, 155 power 0, 0. So 1 plus 4, 5 minus 10 minus 5 plus 6, 1. Nice, beautiful, you got this, but there is no 1 here. And so they missed a trick, they should probably include that 1. And so Interesting. So, what is the thing that is going wrong here? What are we missing out on? What is the so the values we've got for x that work are 1 or 4, minus 10 or 6. What p power q equal to 1? Q could be 0, p could be 1. If anything else that is possible, you could have a wonderful mechanism where minus 1 power 6 is 1, minus 1 power 100 is 1. So, we will have to now say, hey, nice, x square minus 5x plus 5 equal to minus 1 or x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, x minus 2 into x minus 3 equal to 0, x could be 2 or 3. Now, we will substitute x is 2 or 3 here and x is equal to 2, we have 2 square 4 plus 4 into 2, 8, minus 60, 12 minus 60, minus 48, minus 1 power minus 48, that is 1, beautiful. Then we say we will substitute x equal to 3, we will have 3 square 9, plus 4 into 3, 12, minus 60, 21 minus 60, minus 39, minus 1 power minus 30, minus 1 power minus 39 is minus 1. Is 1, 1 by minus 1 power 39, minus 1 power 39 is minus 1. This does not work. So, x equal to 3 does not work, 2 works. So now, we take all the possible values of x, 1 or 4, 1, 4, 
minus 10, 6, 2, add all of this up. 6 plus 4 is 10, this goes up, 1 plus 2 is 3, this whole thing goes to 0, 1 plus 2 is 3. All possible values adding up to 3, that is the sum of all possible values. If p power q is 0, p power q, not 0, 1, we are solving for p equal to 1, q equal to 0 and p equal to minus 1, q is equal to even number. Find values for this, find values for this, find values for this, check if this works, check everything that works and then putting all of the numbers together, which ones work, which ones hold good, simply find that. Beautiful question based on the idea that p power q is equal to 1, p could be 1, q could be 0 or p could be minus 1 and q with q being an even number. Check out all the possibilities we are through. Sum of all possible values is 3. Beautiful question because it makes us explore this idea.